Welcome to section five of ITIL Foundation Training, the service value system. This is the picture of the service value system on the left. In this, we see five components mainly. We see the guiding principles at the top, which has been covered in a previous section, along with governance briefly. We will move on to other components like the service value chain practices and continual improvement, which is an approach to continual improvement. The service value system has the opportunity or demand as an input and value as an output. What is the SVS or the service value system? What is its purpose? Its purpose is to ensure that the organization continually co-creates value with all stakeholders through the use and management of products and services. We note the word continually co-creation of value. That is the purpose. While service management is a set of specialized organizational capabilities, which enables values value in the form of services to customers. On the other hand, service is a means to deliver value, means to co-create value for customers. And the service value system ensures continual co-creation of value. As we saw in that picture, the key inputs are the opportunity and the demand. An opportunity may be, for example, a creation of a new service, which might be sold in the market. Whereas demand could be based on a market demand or based on a trigger, like a request from a user. The five components of the SVS, guiding principles, which are recommendations that can guide an organization in all circumstances, regardless of changes in its goals, strategies, types of work, or management structures. Governance, the means by which an organization is directed and controlled. We already looked at number one and two in a previous section. There are three more components or elements of the service value system. The core or in the middle is the service value chain, which is a set of interconnected activities that an organization performs to deliver a valuable product or a service to its consumers and to facilitate value realization. By using the value chain activities, value streams may be designed, meaning a value stream is a series of steps that an organization undertakes to deliver value to its customers. Therefore, that value stream may take one or more of these activities from the service value chain. Practices. Sets of organizational resources designed for performing work or accomplishing an objective. Practices may be composed of uh, resources from the four dimension. Therefore, a practice such as release management practice may include resources from the organization and people dimension, information and technology dimension, like tools, etc., and value streams and process dimension, as well as suppliers and partners dimension. While in V3, we have the concept of processes, in ITIL 4, we have the concept of pra practices, which are not just about processes, but set of other types of resources also like people, technology, information, and suppliers and partners. The fifth element is the continual improvement, which is an approach or a model for improvement. It is a recurring organizational activity performed at all levels to ensure that an organization's performance continually meets stakeholders' expectations. ITIL4 supports continual improvement with the ITIL continual improvement model. At the center of the service value system or the SVS, we can see the service value chain. What is the service value chain or the SVC? It is an operating model which outlines the key activities required to respond to demand and facilitate value realization through the creation and management of products and services. So we have the value on the right here, but between the value and the service value chain, there will be products and services which create value. However, the service value chain contains of several value chain activities. These value chain activities use the practices, one or more of the practices to convert input and transform them into outputs. So you see, for example, the engage value chain activity within the service value chain, which takes certain inputs 
uses resources like processes, people, team structures, tools, uh, for example, to collaborate or record some information, may use partners and suppliers to deliver outputs. This could be one of the activities in the value uh, from the value chain of six activities. Let's take a moment to make a note of the learnings or to take up a question and explore that question in our materials or in the ITIL publication from Excelos or any other sources on the internet. The service value chain, continuing with that. There are six value chain activities in the SVC. Plan, improve, engage, design and transition, obtain or build, deliver and support. These six activities represent the steps an organization takes in the creation of value. Each activity contributes to the value chain by transforming specific inputs into outputs. Just like a process, a process also takes certain inputs and transforms that into output. Similarly, an activity like engage or plan or one of these six takes an input and transforms into outputs. However, these contribute to the value chain, to the overall value chain or a value stream. These activities do interact with each other. It is normally not possible that just one activity is included in the value stream. It will generally be a combination of activities. Though it may be that it remains just one activity in a single value.